Hello everyone and welcome to Wallow Wake on LAN. Today we'll show you step by step how to configure your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC for use with Wallow. Before we begin configuring anything in Wallow, it is important to note that you must use a wired Ethernet connection for Wake on LAN. Wake on LAN can work over Wi-Fi but your network adapter must implement the wireless Wake on LAN standard and will only usually work from a standby state and not a full shutdown state. To get started we need to configure our PC to allow Wake on LAN. Firstly, we need to configure our PC's BIOS settings. To access your PC's BIOS, turn on your PC and whilst it is booting immediately repeatedly press the BIOS settings key. This key will depend on the motherboard you have but is usually either the F2 key, the F12 key or the delete key and is also usually displayed at the bottom of your monitor as your PC begins booting. If you are still unsure what key you need to press, please refer to your motherboard's manual. For this demo, we are using an Asus ROG motherboard which uses the delete key to access the BIOS settings. Once you are presented with the BIOS settings, you need to navigate to the advanced power management settings. Where these settings are within the BIOS will depend again on which motherboard you have. For our motherboard, it can be found under the advanced tab and then APM configuration. In APM configuration there are two settings that we are concerned about. The first is, ERP Ready. This setting is designed to reduce your computer's power consumption when powered down to below 1 watt. This sometimes interferes with Wake on LAN so we want to disable it. The second setting is, Power On by PCIe, PCIe. This may also appear as just, Wake on LAN. This setting controls whether Wake on LAN is enabled or disabled for the onboard LAN controller or any other installed PCIe, PCI LAN card so we want to enable it. Once you have changed these settings to the correct values you need to navigate to the Exit tab and select Save Configuration and Reset. This will present a window asking you to confirm your changes and will usually display what settings have been changed. Confirm that the correct settings have been changed and then select Save or OK. Your PC will then reboot into Windows. When your PC is booted, log into Windows. We now need to configure some settings within Windows to allow Wake on LAN and to fix any common issues that are encountered when using Wake on LAN on Windows. The first step is to ensure that you have the latest network adapter drivers installed for your network adapter. If you are using your motherboard's onboard network adapter, you can find these drivers on your motherboard manufacturer's website. If you are using an external or internal network adapter expansion card, you should also be able to find drivers on the manufacturer's website. After installing your network adapter drivers we can begin configuring its settings. First. Press the Windows key to open the Windows Start menu and type, Control Panel. Open Control Panel. When the Control Panel window has opened, click, Network and Sharing Center. Click, Change Adapter Settings. Now you need to find the active Ethernet adapter. This will usually be displayed as just, Ethernet, but can vary especially if you have multiple network adapters. On our system, the active Ethernet adapter is the Intel i2 11 gigabit network controller. Double-click your network adapter, then click Properties and then click Configure to open the settings. Click on the Advanced tab, in this window, there are a few settings we want to change to allow Wake on LAN. The first setting is, Enable PME, and we want to enable it. PME stands for Power Management Event and the feature wakes up your computer on receipt of a signal from the network. This option may not be available on some network adapters so do not worry if it is not visible. The next setting is Energy Efficient Ethernet and we want to disable it. This feature may be called Advanced EEE Energy Efficient Ethernet for Realtek Ethernet adapters. The final setting is Wake on Magic Packet and we want to enable it. This feature enables the Wake on LAN functionality and may also be called Wake on LAN. 
If you are unable to see most of these settings then your network adapter drivers have not been installed correctly. After you have the correct advanced settings then click the Power Management tab. On the Power Management window, we want to untick, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power, and then click OK to save the settings. Our network adapter settings are now configured. The next step is to disable Windows Fast Startup. This setting can cause issues with Wake on LAN when enabled. It is known to cause issues after an extended period of shutdown where your PC will no longer be able to start up using Wake on LAN. Disabling this feature resolves this issue. To disable Windows Fast Startup navigate back to the Control Panel menu and click Power Options. On the left menu click, choose what the power buttons do. Click, change settings that are currently unavailable, and then untick, turn on Fast Startup. Click, save changes. Windows Fast Startup is now disabled. Our Windows PC is now fully configured for Wake on LAN so we can begin setting up Wallow. Wallow is available on iOS or Android. Navigate to your preferred platform's app store and search for Wallow. Download Wallow and open it. When you first open Wallow you will be presented with an onboarding tutorial. You can skip this tutorial as we are about to walk you through all the steps presented in the tutorial in this video. To add our first device on Wallow tap the selected device panel to open the device management panel. There are two options for adding a device in Wallow. The easiest way to add a new device is to use the scan network feature. Wallow can scan your local network for devices and auto-fill all of the required data. This feature requires the Wallow Companion app to be installed on your PC. First, open a web browser and navigate to https colon slash slash wallow.site. Click Wallow Companion on the website header and then tap Download for Windows. Open the Wallow Companion installer and walk through the steps to install. Once installed, double-click the Wallow Companion icon to open Wallow Companion. When you first open Wallow Companion, ensure that you tick Public and Private when the Windows Firewall window appears. This is important as Wallow Companion may not be able to receive any requests if both of these networks are not ticked. Wallow Companion has no user interface and is a system tray application. To verify it is running, open the Windows system tray and look for the Wallow companion icon. Back in the Wallow app tap scan network. This will open an onboarding screen. Once Wallow companion is running tap get started. Give Wallow a few seconds and then your PC should appear in the list. Tap the PC you want to add and confirm that all the data appears correctly. Tap the add button. The second way to add a device is to add it manually. You can find steps on how to do this on the Wallow website in the troubleshooting section, click the Wallow tutorial button. Your device should now appear in the device management panel. You can swipe from right to left on a device to delete it and tap the pencil icon to edit it. You can long press on a device to send a quick wake command and if you purchase Wallow Premium you can swipe from left to right on a device to access the quick commands and dragging the device list down will refresh all the device awake statuses. Tap your device to select it. Once your device is selected you will be able to access all of the same features from the Wallow home screen. Tap the big power button to wake up your device, 
View the awake status in the selected device panel and tap any button below the selected device panel to send a power command to Wallow Companion. When tapping the big power button you should now be able to see that your PC starts up using Wake on LAN. You may find that the device awake status only shows is not awake or pending even when your device is turned on. This is usually because the Windows Firewall blocks ICMP pings by default. To fix this we need to allow ICMP pings through the Windows Firewall. We have tried to make this process as simple as possible and have provided one command to run on the Wallow website. First, Navigate to the Wallow website at https colon slash slash wallow.site and then click troubleshooting in the website header. Scroll down and expand, my device status always shows as pending or not awake. Copy the command highlighted in blue. Open the Windows Start menu and type, command prompt. Open command prompt as an administrator. Paste the copied command and press enter. You should receive an OK message back indicating that ICMP pings are now allowed through the Windows firewall. If you are using any third-party antivirus, malware software then you may also have to allow ICMP pings in the software-specific firewall settings. We also recommend setting a static IP address in your router's DHCP settings for your PC. This needs to be done so you do not have to change the ping address field in Wallow every time your router decides to allocate a new dynamically generated IP address within your subnet which could be every time your PC is shut down. For this tutorial we have used a generic TP-Link router which is a good representation of what most people will be using. The steps on your router may be slightly different but the names of settings will be fairly consistent. First, we need to access our router's settings page. This can be done by accessing the default gateway IP address within a web browser. To find your default gateway open the Windows Start menu and type, Command Prompt. Open Command Prompt. Type the, IP config, command and press Enter. This will display information about your network connection. Find the default gateway field and copy the value. Open your web browser and paste the default gateway value into the URL bar and press enter. This will display a login page for your router settings. Enter the password and login. For our router, we want to navigate to the advanced settings and then DHCP server. In the DHCP settings, we can see an address reservation section where we want to add a new address reservation. Click Add and then manually input the device's MAC address or click View Connected Devices and select the device you want from the list. Enter a static IP address to use for this device. Click Save. Now when your device renews its DHCP lease it will receive the new IP address. You can force this process by restarting your router. Thank you for watching, this is the end of the tutorial. If you encounter any issues or require any support then please do not hesitate to get in touch by contacting contact at wallow.site.